This video is part 2 of my Living with Bed Bugs series. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, I strongly suggest that you do. It'll make things in this video much clearer. The link will be in the description. Previously on Aeron Emissions. The street we lived on was covered with old mattresses and other house furniture. This was the first red flag. The next day, as soon as I wake up, I would notice some black marks on my back and around my arms. My mom assumed that we had bed bugs and that we probably received it from, you guessed it, a dirty ass neighbors. She called an exterminator right away to check it out. The exterminator didn't come until weeks later and the following nights were one of the worst nights of my life. Every freaking night I would feel constant stingings around my body and that's when I would see all of them sprawling around on my bed trying to find a place to hide. It was disgusting as well as terrifying. We stuck with that method until the exterminator came and when he did, god damn was I happy. The exterminator does his work and sprays every inch of the apartment. The rest of the day passes by and finally it's nighttime. and my mom suggests that I should try and sleep in my room once again. A little nervous, I accept and the night goes surprisingly well actually. No bed bugs came to violate me in my sleep and I woke up with no marks on my body. One week. It only took one week for all of these pests to resurface again in all of our bedrooms. Not only that, but things got a lot worse actually. It didn't work. None of it worked. After the exterminator left, I was so relieved and thought that everything would go back to normal finally. But nothing changed. One week later, they all came back. In my room, in my brother's room, and in my parents' room. The only one who seemed to have it easy between all of us was my older sister. Compared to the rest of us, she barely even noticed some of these bugs in her room at all. I don't know if it's because her room was closer to the kitchen or anything else but she had it quite well. My room on the other hand was by far the worst of them all. You could literally find them just about anywhere. On my bed, in my pillowcases, on their walls, you name it. And even in my fucking clothes. Things were getting out of control and I had to do something, just something to be able to sleep at night. Fortunately. My sister was staying at one of her friend's place for most of the time she was in school, so I could borrow her room for a while. But when she came back, she claimed back her property and I had to come back to the shithole that was my room. And so the cycle continued. I get little to no sleep, I'm constantly getting stung by all these bloodthirsty little pests and my body ends up looking like it was used as target practice for paintball guns. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm saying? Eventually, my mom called the exterminator once again to do another sweep. Surely, the second one would do it. Surely, all these bugs wouldn't be able to survive two doses of poison. Surely, they would all die, right? Right? <coughs> Spoilers, they didn't. And just like that, the nightmare starts over and we couldn't do anything to stop it. The entire colony of bedbugs that lived in our home had probably reproduced thousands and thousands of times in every corner of our apartment. And more than likely, some more unwanted visitors would show up late to the party and there was absolutely nothing we could do about it. We tried everything. We truly did. Some people told us to spray boiling hot water in the corners of our apartment. Others suggested to use bleach on our furniture. Which, don't, J just don't. Horrible idea by the way, whoever suggested that should go eat a dick. Anyway, some of these methods did actually work for a short period of time but they could never truly get the job done. 
But after all of this, we were out of options. The infestation was getting worse and worse by the day and it didn't just affect our sleep cycle. It started to affect our relationships with other people, especially with my friends. Having guests over was usually never an option since most of them wouldn't even take the risk of coming near our home. And I wouldn't blame them. I would probably do the same if I was in their shoes, but for the rare ones who did, they would have to be aware of every move they made. For one, we would put all their coats inside plastic bags instead of hanging them in our wardrobe. And sometimes, we would sit on the floor instead of our couches in fear that they might be riddled with bugs as well. Although, even after all these precautions, after all these attempts to minimize the infestation and to protect our rare visitors, it still wasn't enough. I remember one night in particular that involved a dear friend of mine to this day. Let's call him Xav. Some of you guys watching this video might know who I'm talking about, and he himself might be watching this. He probably doesn't even remember this story, but I do. So vividly. One day, he came to my house for a sleepover. And it wasn't the first time. We always did these when we were kids. Both of us would go to each other's houses and play video games all day long while eating fast food. We would spend the night, do the exact same shit the next day, and our parents would come pick us up in the afternoon. Anyway, this one particular day, things didn't go as smoothly. It was the first time he came to visit our apartment and I was really excited to show him around. I did tell him earlier that we had bed bugs, but assured him that the exterminator recently did a sweep of our home and that we should be good. Why was I so naive? When it was finally time for us to sleep, all the signs were there and I knew this was not going to be a good night. The crawling, the stinging, we felt it all. Yo, yo, yo. Ouais, qu'est-ce qu'il y a Et tu peux juste ouvrir la lumière deux secondes Pourquoi Je sais pas, je sens des bails sur mes jambes, je sens des bails qui me piquent, bro, je sais pas, c'est bizarre. I already knew what it was, but I didn't expect it to begin so soon. <sighs> Alright, lève-toi deux secondes, je vais aller l'allumer. My mom came into the room later and saw the state of it. And it was disgusting. The worst it's ever been. We tried to move our mattresses to the living room, but that too didn't change anything. Half an hour later, and they swarmed us again. They were everywhere. I could see that my friend was super uncomfortable, but I, on the other hand, was just embarrassed. I lied to him. I was a fraud. My whole apartment was a literal hell and there was nothing I could do to hide it. The night got so bad that Xav ended up calling his father to pick him up in the middle of the night. There was nowhere else he could sleep. And eventually, he left. As soon as that door closed, I just stood there, in absolute shock to what just happened. I went back to my room and saw my mom trying to kill as many of them as she could. I couldn't take it. Why us? Why me? What did we do to deserve this? I just want to leave, please. I just want this to end. As you might have figured, no sleeping was done that night. We completely gave up on calling an exterminator since that obviously didn't do anything for us. Eventually, 
Moving out as soon as possible became our one and only plan, and we stopped focusing on stopping the infestation. That said, it had been almost two years since we moved into this apartment, and my mom, she had enough. If you remember in part one, I stated that the building we moved out from was in desperate need of renovations. But even after all this time, the renovations weren't even close to being finished. My mom wasn't going to wait and she took the first offer she saw. The sooner we could move in, the better. That was the final straw and nothing was going to change her mind. This unfortunately led to us moving very far away from our neighborhood, leaving all my friends behind in the process. God damn, sorry for ending this story on such a sad note, but I can't help it. I love sad endings, or sad stories in general, even in my own animations. I know it might sound like I never saw my friends ever again after we moved out, but that's not the case. Every now and then I go visit and it's still as fun as I can remember. Anyway, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.